hello guys hello YouTube um, welcome to another video it's been a while I took a break we had this crazy cold weather that came through the area for a period of about two weeks two and a half weeks we were in uh, double digit negatives it was really hard to go outside play with the rocks are so I spent quite a bit of time indoors so uh, today it warmed up some I, I believe it was like uh, minus five so I decided to come out check on the rocks or you know clear out the snow and uh, see how it fed after this uh, bout of very cold weather so that's what it looks like buried all the way up uh, in snow outside inside the seats foot wells everywhere was covered in snow so that's where it's been sitting for the past couple of weeks um, got some animal tracks there it looks like a bunny could be a dog i'm not sure but everywhere as you can see we have this snow that's laying on the ground and it's so cold and uh, you can hear how crunchy and dry the snow is so that's where the rocks are is well um, after we get the snow cleared out we'll try and see if we can get the, the rocks all started so that would be a very good idea I got the keys with me you can see I'm not putting on gloves there so it really warmed up <laughs> from what we were having all right so that's what uh, the rocks are looks like as you've seen in the previous pictures I was just assessing trying to figure out the best way to tackle the snow so I will start first with the uh, hood take off the snow carefully the paint I should say is really gorgeous and I would hate to put any uh, scratches on there I really love the the shine you know when you have your rocks all cleaned up it really really shines the paint it has such a beautiful gloss so uh, just carefully scrape up the snow or as much snow as you can just be careful go ahead and continue scraping that is just a uh, slow work but yeah something that had to be done at one point or another because it's definitely getting warmer out here so, so right there the hood looks about right it looks good enough to me we'll go around start with the driver's side yeah this might be kind of boring when I watch videos like this I actually speed them up I select the option go at 1.5 uh, the regular speed just to kind of speed things up uh, but there you can see how the snow comes out in huge chunks like a cupcake or you know a cheesecake that's uh, about two weeks to three weeks accumulation of snow just be careful not to put any tears in the seat the upholstery cleaning out the foot wells and there you have the controls you have a uh, the shift lever for the gears are starting to show and uh, yeah the seat was really really kicked and the funny thing is with the seats since they are colored uh, in a darker color they will absorb heat and the snow will melt and then form ice so at the very bottom you have a layer of ice on the seat. 
lot of lot of snow we really had a deep freeze uh, that's the bed totally covered in snow move around to the other side there's the passenger side start with the footwell and shovel 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 it's kind of slow so uh, my advice I usually go with 1.5 speed when I'm watching uh, no, a slow video like this on YouTube but this is just to show you how much snow we had completely buried everything you know so just the snowmobile guys were out everybody else with toys was indoors there you can see uh, the drive selector lever two-wheel drive four-wheel drive four high four low and neutral about that that's uh, the BNSF train going by it's kind of loud oh, at last we can see through you can see the gear shift lever and all the way through so right about there that should be good enough Okay, we go around to the driver's side one more time, see uh, if we have it clean enough to where we can jump in and get it started. So let's take a look inside, see what we can do. Yeah, that's a lot of snow. Won't be able to push on the pedals easily. Get some of that out of there. And uh, the interior of uh, the Roxor is uh, coated in some kind of rhino lining material. So it's not just smooth paint, it has a coating there that's protective. But that shouldn't stop you from getting a mat or some kind of additional protection just to keep your interior looking good all right that should be about good there that's for the box underneath for some reason it actually looks like the key that would start the rocks up but that key actually opens uh, the storage boxes that are underneath the seats the driver and passenger seats so there we stepped in uh, at this point I'm not even sure if it's going to start uh, when it gets very cold to about minus 20 uh, degrees Fahrenheit if you try to start the rock star, and yeah, that's ice and you have just the regular battery it will not crank over i'm sure with the upgraded battery even at minus 20 it will crank um, 
I don't know if it's a good idea for a diesel, but if you have some kind of preheating for your oil, I guess it should be okay. So go ahead, step on the clutch. And right now it's actually about minus five degrees. Uh, my temperature probe will be showing about minus eight to minus 12. That's because that's how cold it was uh, the previous day. So uh, let it warm up. As you can see, I have about 21 hours total on this Roxor. And I believe that's 96.3 miles so far. I'll be getting to 100 soon. And it started right up. Amazing. It's kind of rough from sitting. But you just let it idle. Let it do its thing. Don't step on the gas, just let it warm up a little bit before you do anything. Have uh, the usual plume of smoke, which you would see when it sits for a while. I'm very happy. Started without a hitch. That's normal. Diesel vehicles, vehicles all do that when they sit for a while, they cold, they would have that little plume of smoke come out. And then after a while, everything will smooth out. Uh, the rock saw has nine inches of uh, ground clearance But with this this much smoke uh, snow on the ground. It's very easy to get high centered And my tires are it's a mixture of street and mild off-road tires Stock tires that come with the rock saw uh, If you intend to do any Right there you can hear how it smoothed out. It's now running smoothly, the smoke has reduced. Yeah, if you intend to do any kind of uh, serious off-roading, you definitely need to upgrade your, your tires. So I'm gonna jump in, put it in four-wheel drive and try to, you know, just create a path there. In case that snow hardens, that way I have a path out if I have to take it out for a drive. So. You can hear the engine that smooth out completely. Still smoking a little bit because it's cold. But considering minus five uh, degrees Fahrenheit, it is performing great. temperatures here have the laser and the infrared uh, temperature probe is showing minus 11 and that's the metal you know, it's very very cold to the touch that's a uh, degrees Fahrenheit there you have minus 5 just for a point of reference uh, water freezes at about uh, 33 degrees Fahrenheit So 
the plan here is to get it into four wheel drive and then rock it uh, back and forth to make a path but uh, I haven't broken in the four wheel uh, shift mechanism yet so when you have it's very difficult to move you just have to rock the vehicle back and forth a little bit and then it's easy to shift I have it in reverse, back up a little bit. to shift now I mean four high That is it. Rocks are still alive. I'm very happy. Hopefully from now onwards the days will just get longer. We'll have more sunlight later in the day. Temperatures will keep rising and the snow will disappear, you know, will melt and be gone. And before you know it, it's soon gonna be springtime, and we'll be able to take out the rocks some more, have more fun, have more videos, go on ride outs with uh, people who are around here, in, you know, around my area. So it's looking very promising. You can see the beautiful sunset, and uh, that's how much snow we had. See, that's a vehicle buried there on the left. It's a Toyota Prius. <laughs> totally buried under the snow uh, yep hopefully before long all of that will be gone and it's gonna be warm again and we'll be able to take the rocks out on the road take it to the lake and uh, get some more videos thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and uh, see you on the next one